Hello all, this is Neil from Edureka and welcome to this session on Raspberry Pi installation. Now, Raspberry Pi is one of the most popular Internet of Things device that is present out there in the market today. And today as part of this session, we'll be learning how to install Raspbian, which is one of the most fundamental and the most popular operating system on top of the Raspberry Pi hardware. Okay, so now let's start with the Raspberry Pi OS installation. I'll help you understand how you can actually install Raspberry Pi operating system once you've bought the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we'll divide it into different parts. First, let me help you understand the different operating systems that are available at present. Okay, Raspberry Pi in itself supports multiple operating systems as such, but we'll mainly be working on Raspbian. Okay, so these are some of the most popular operating systems supported on Raspberry Pi. So you have RIS OS, you have free BSD operating system, you have net BSD operating system, Plan 9 is again from Bell Labs as well as Windows has its own Windows 10 of IoT version. Okay, so for this session we are not going to go into the Windows 10, we will stick to the core Raspberry Pi operating system. Now for downloading the operating system, you can go on to the original site that is raspberrypi.org and there in the downloads tab you can download the operating system. Let me just show it to you. Okay, so this is the Raspberry Pi home page and here if you go on to the download section, you can download the operating system. Now, if you are starting off with Raspberry Pi and Internet of Things, trust me, this is the best place that you can find a lot of information with respect to it. Okay, most people actually publish their details with respect to the projects that they are working. Many popular projects are also available. You can find a lot of help as well as good information here. Okay, so this is definitely the place to go to. If you go on to the download section here, okay, this will either show you two options. You have Noobs or you have Raspbian. I would recommend that you go with Noobs because this is a complete package with respect to the different operating systems as such. So here again you have Noobs and Noobs Lite. So my recommendation would be you download Noobs and make sure you're using a 32 GB memory card. Okay, this would be really helpful because it gives a lot of memory for your operating system. So in case if you're going for a 16 GB or below, I would recommend you go with the Noobs Lite. But make sure you keep the bare minimum of 16 GB in case if you're working with Raspberry Pi. But do not mistake me when I say use a 16 GB memory card, you can install it on an 8 GB as well. But again, the operating system has less memory to work with. So at least go for 16 or higher. 32 is what I would recommend. So once you download this zip file, or you can even download it by a torrent. Okay, but I would recommend download it as a zip file. Let me show you the file. So this is the noobs file. Let me extract this. Okay, it may take some time. Okay, it's about a 1.5 GB file. Okay. The lights version is slightly lower in comparison, but this is something that I would recommend in case if you're working with Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I have my noobs folder here. So what you need to do is that you need to copy everything inside the noob folders and then paste it inside the SD card. Okay, make sure you're not directly copy pasting the folder that you have extracted. So what happens is if you do that, it does not actually recognize the operating system as part of the Raspberry Pi. So copy everything that you have extracted and then directly paste it inside the SD card. Now again, this is why I recommend that you use a high speed memory card because in case if you're not using it, then what happens is that it takes a lot of time with respect to fetching the data. Okay, now as I had mentioned, if you're going for a memory card for your Raspberry Pi, you can use something like a 16 GB at least and make sure it has a high transfer speed. So this in turn will give you a lot of memory area to work around with as well as I would recommend you take something like a class 10 memory card that is available in the market today. So these have a very good read and write speed ratio. So definitely this is something that you should consider while you're getting a memory card for your operating system. Okay, now once we're done copying with this, let's go on to install this memory card onto our Raspberry Pi and let's begin the installation process. Okay, so now we've successfully copied all that is needed for our operating system. So safely remove this, make sure you're ejecting it safely. Because sometimes what happens is if you do not safely eject it, the files get corrupted before you load it into your Raspberry Pi. This is a certain issue with respect to the memory cards. So just eject this. Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi. And if you actually flip it over, this is the slot where you have to insert the memory card. Now we've copied the noobs folder into this memory card. Again, let me just insert this into this and let's begin with respect to the installation process. Let's begin installing this memory card onto my Raspberry Pi and start with the setup. So let me just turn on my Raspberry Pi. Okay, so this is the screen I'm getting by default. Okay, now what happens is the installation step initializes. So the Raspberry Pi is getting loaded. 
Okay, now there are two operating systems that are present here by default and we want Raspbian. So let me just select Raspbian and click on install option present here. Now if you see here, it basically is telling me that it requires 4.5 GB. So this is why I was recommending you to get at least 16 GB or more. Because if I have an 8 GB memory card, if 4.5 GB goes off with the operating system itself, then there's not much memory left for me to work around with. Okay, now let me just click on install. Okay, just before I do that, in case if you are using a different language or if you want to use a different keyboard as well, you make sure you're specifying that, okay? So there are different languages present here, so choose the corresponding language as per your requirement, okay? Once you've selected that, just click on install. And this is just basically going to ask you whether you want to format your data and install the operating system on top of this. So click on yes and the installation process has begun. Now it may take some time, so I request you to be a bit patient because this is an operating system installation process. So please be a bit patient and hope you have fun meanwhile. Okay, so now as you can see the operating system installation has completed successfully. Once you hit on OK, it's going to ask me whether I want to reboot or it would automatically reboot as well. Okay, so yeah, it's automatically rebooting at this point. Okay, now as you can see the Raspberry Pi operating system has successfully been installed. Okay, so this is what your Raspberry Pi operating system would be looking like. Okay, so this is Raspbian as such. So there are different operating systems that are available today for you to install that we have discussed already. So let me go back to my slide and let me just summarize the installation process again. Now, if you see here, we started by downloading the Noobs folder and then we went on to extract the folder and copy it into the SD card. Okay, make sure the SD card is empty as well. Once you're done with this, insert it into the SD card slot and then we have completed with respect to the installation process. All right, that's great. So now we've successfully installed Raspberry Pi on our devices. With that, hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply to them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to our Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.